Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix your Windows 10 machine if it's stuck in an infinite boot loop. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so the issue you might have is that your machine will not boot to the desktop. Um, typically, you will, it will just be stuck on something like this, a screen like this, just saying restarting. It possibly could even go to a blue screen of death like this, uh, a crash, and then restart again and go back to this screen. Uh, so basically you won't be able to get to your Windows 10 desktop uh, it's easy to fix this problem um, so what we need to do is you need to hop onto a machine that you can get to the desktop on um, if you just head over to Google and Google Windows 10 ISO and if you click on the first link which should be um, the Microsoft link and if you scroll down and you, if you click on download tool now uh, if you download that it's going to download a very small tool uh, which we can use to create um, a repair disk so if you load the tool this is what the first screen is going to look like so just click on accept uh, don't click on upgrade this PC click on this one create installation media click next uh, it's going to automatically detect what machine you're on so my machine 64 bit if you're if you do have a different machine so maybe it is 32 bit uh, just select 32 bit there uh, once these details are correct click next and we can do two things here so we can either create a bootable USB flash drive or we can create an ISO file here um, what we can do with this ISO file is actually burn it to a DVD uh, most of the time it's easier to just create a bootable USB flash drive uh, so enter the flash drive into your machine uh, click next, select your flash drive and then it's going to download the Windows 10 um, files from the internet it's going to be about 4.6 gig in uh, size so depending on your internet speed it might take a while uh, once that uh, process is finished put the USB drive or the DVD into your machine restart your machine and you should see this screen here you should get prompted to press any key so here press any key and it's going to go into the uh, recovery disk so if it doesn't go into that screen that I just showed you what you need to do is you need to change the boot priority in your BIOS so if you don't know how to get into your BIOS just google how to enter and then put your model number here so I've used Dell 390 BIOS this is my machine I'm on now um, so you can see here press F2 key to enter system and then it will tell you the options of how to, to change the boot priority what you need to do is put your USB drive or your DVD drive as the first boot priority okay so when you um, boot to the recovery disk you're going to be asked these options so just select your region do not click on install now click on repair your computer uh, on this screen click on troubleshoot now there's quite a few things here that we can do the first thing I like to do is go to the command prompt so it's going to bring up this black screen so type in chkdsk C colon forward slash R forward slash F all of the commands that I'm going to be running in here I'll put in the description of this video so you can easily go in there and copy it so that is actually finished now what this has done is that's checked your uh, Windows install for corrupt files if it finds any corrupt files it will say here that it's found some and it fixes it so as soon as that has run if you just type in exit in that screen and then click on continue um, hopefully that will get to the Windows 10 desktop if it doesn't just restart your machine again come to this uh, recovery disk and click on troubleshoot click on startup repair and that startup repair is going to launch an application that's basically going to check all of the files that Windows 10 uses to boot to the desktop if it finds any issues with those files it's going to replace them or fix what the issue could be um, so run that, follow the prompts and again restart uh, your machine hopefully you'll get to the desktop, if it doesn't come back in here again uh, click on command prompt and we're going to type in two commands here so boot rec forward slash 
forward slash fix MBR type that in and hit enter so what that is is the master boot record so again that's one of your Windows 10 startup um, files it's possible that startup repair wouldn't have done this process so we, we're just forcing it now and another thing we can do is rebuild the boot configuration data so again we type in boot rec forward slash rebuild bcd and again hit enter again I'm going to put these commands in the description of the video so you can easily see them in there and again once that has finished if you then restart your machine and hopefully it will get to the Windows 10 desktop again ok so I've just exited out of there obviously wait for that to finish and then exit out of here again so another thing we can do is if we go to troubleshoot uh, you can try and do system restore um, hopefully you've taken a restore of your machine before the issue started so go in there restore to a previous image hopefully that will uh, fix the issue for you if it doesn't the last thing that we can do is uninstall updates because uh, by default Windows 10 automatically installs any Windows updates uh, it finds which is released every month so come in here uh, click on the top option first of all it will then uninstall uh, the latest uh, update there then uh, click on this one the second option it will then up, up, um, uninstall the latest feature update as well uh, so once that is done if you then come back here uh, click on continue to Windows 10 and you should be able to get to your Windows 10 desktop ok if you've got any questions about this process please post it in a comment below and I'll be sure to help you out but thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video